I hope you're all excited. Ready? Ready? Hoo-ha! Ooh! Why? 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 <laughs> Today, I'm going to talk to you about the beauty of making love with a bass clarinet. I mean, everyone can play the clarinet, please. It's, f it's easy. I mean, to play it well is hard, don't get me wrong. I can't play it well. And it's, it's good. I do, li I do like playing clarinet, regular clarinet, regular B-flat clarinet. It's very pretty and it is a passion. And then soprano clarinets just like, look what I can do. But bass clarinet, bass clarinet is making love. It is deep, sweet, rich beauty that you savor with every note, even though the parts are like tuba. But I mean, tuba players like playing tuba, don't they? I would love to play tuba. Um, but I mean, if you're in advanced music playing bass clarinet, it's like playing fourth or fifth clarinet. I mean, it still has moving parts and it's very beautiful. And I love the bass clarinet because it's that sweet, savory, low tone that's like mellow and it's just so beautiful. I miss playing my bass clarinet. And then of course playing contra bass clarinet is like living in a sweet, rapturous orgy of passion. Ah, oh, so beautiful, so amazing. Not contra alto cl clarinet. Contra alto clarinet is annoying. It's hard to stay in tune, and it's not a normal clarinet key. So it's it's just annoying because, and then you can't find parts in it. And for some reason, my high school decided to buy two of them instead of buying a contra bass clarinet. Because two contra alto clarinets are cheaper than a contra bass clarinet. And we'll always use that. Yeah, well, we didn't. I, I mean, I only played it once for a solo. Anyway. Um, and then alto clarinet, uh, which is between the bass and the, the regular clarinet. It's pretty cool, too. I mean, I played that, and it was hard to keep in tune. But in an ensemble set, an, a clarinet ensemble setting, it's pretty pretty. I mean, it's like playing third clarinet when there's four people. Um, I just miss my clarinet so much. The deep woody sound. Of, oh, mm, makes me so happy. Of course, saxophone's a whole different thing. Saxophone is, it's like smoky sexy and then the oboe is kind of like a duck bouncing across the street and the piccolo is just a little flighty little thing and the and I don't know what a piccolo sounds like I can't hear it it's out of out of my hearing range I can't hear high pitches like that and and bassoon bassoon oh bassoon is pretty much right there with with bass clarinet for me of course, I accidentally played oboe when I was supposed to be playing bassoon. Long story. Anyway, bassoon, beautiful instrument. Lots of keys. Hmm. Best double reed instrument. Ba and, you know, best bass woodwind you have next to the bass clarinet and contrabass. Which my high school just bought with the new funds I got. And I'm sad that I didn't stay the extra year to play it. But if I had, I would have not been a happy camper. Yeah, so that's me and on the art of making love with the bass clarinet. That's I know it's a bit rambless and not that awesome. But hey, what do you expect?